Hey guys, Freddy here. I'm going to show you how to connect to MGO2 PC server using your PS3 on custom firmware. Let's get started. What you're going to need is a PS3 with custom firmware already hacked and installed, multi-man and webman installed. If you don't have those, those are located already on the package manager with the MGO2 files. Uh, next you'll need the actual MGO2 game and files, an MGO2 PC account, and lastly, a dummy PSN account. Sadly, this method still needs PlayStation Network to play. The first thing you want to do is plug in your USB drive to your computer, copy over the contents of PS3 to MGO2 PC. It should look like this. After you've copied the files, plug in the USB drive to your PS3 and boot up Multiman. Once you're in Multiman, navigate over to the file browser and open up two windows. One of these is going to be for your USB, like so. We'll move that to the side. The other will be for your PS3 hard drive. Copy over the contents of HDD0 over to the HDD0 on your PSD drive. We're going to want to overwrite everything as it'll just, it's not really going to overwrite anything, it'll just actually merge. Hit yes if it asks you. It's just going to ask to overwrite or merge files. Once that's done, start copying over the dev HDD1 files over to the other uh, HDD1 files on your PlayStation 3. Now that all the install files are finished, it's time to copy over the actual game. On your USB drive, go to the games folder and you'll see the Metal Gear Online game directory. Copy this, and on your PS3, navigate over to the same place, HDD0, games, and paste it over here. With all your files copied over, it's time to connect to the PC server. Quit out to the Helm menu, go to network settings, and start a brand new internet connection like you would any other video game. Once that's done, navigate to settings and connection status list and take a screenshot of this page. It might, you might need to wait a couple seconds for the numbers to populate, but let it load up and save this for later. You're going to need to punch in these numbers to connect to the PC server. With your screenshot handy, let's go back into internet connection settings, but this time instead of easy, you're going to want to hit custom. I'm going to choose wired connection because that's what I'm on right now. You're going to set automatic for everything except IP address. Hit manual. This is where you're going to pop out your screenshot and you're going to copy over your IP address, subnet mask, and default router. Once you've copied over your IP address, subnet mask, and default router, you're going to want to plug in the primary DNS and secondary DNS as shown. These two addresses are the uh, what you're going to need to connect to the PC server. I'm also going to include this in the description. Uh, once that's done, hit next and hit automatic and complete the connection. You're all set now. With your network settings configured for PC, go over to Webman Games and boot up Metal Gear Online Standalone. You'll want to boot this one from the HDD, not your USB. Once you've booted up Metal Gear Online Standalone, press start. Get ready to sign in to your dummy or alt PSN account. Sadly, this game still requires you to sign in the PSN. Then once you reach the Welcome to Metal Gear Online MGO2 PC screen, you've done it. Uh, that's all it takes to join the PC server. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.